Okay. Um, Cancer, this is for you. Do I want to use this? Yeah, I'm going to use my old deck for this one. Um, as I told Pisces, I'm ready for this full moon to bring like some sort of shock, um, especially the mutable signs. Unless you have mutable in your top three, you don't really have to worry about that. That would be Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, or uh, Virgo. Um, it's not a negative full moon, so it's really positive, but I did want to do a cleanse so that we could get some new energy, and so that is why I look like I just got out of the rain. <laughs> so let's see what we have for Cancer. What messages do you, Jesus, all right. Cancer, I see a decision being made for you. Um, this might be a, a travel or move. Something that has been weighing on you for quite a while. Um, you could be involved with a fire sign or somebody with fire qualities. A cat may be relevant and they might be um, no longer in communication with you right now. Similar to the Pisces read, please look up. Okay, we'll go after my readings, okay? Um, similar to my Pisces read, please look up um, Peace Lily. I feel like it's relevant, whatever the meaning of that would be. Sunflowers are relevant as well. A lot of passion here. Um, somebody doesn't really want to move on, even though they should. If you're looking to reconcile with somebody, I do feel like it could happen. It may take some time, um, two to six months. Closer to six months, it looks like. Right now, someone's making a decision about, you might be involved in some sort of love triangle, um, somebody who had a lot of options, or you had a lot of options, and people are um, sort of like torn between the two for some reason. I see somebody walking away from their emotions because they know better. There's something that isn't being seen right now. Um, one of you is trying to commit and stay through this. Please expect serious changes come winter on this situation. You might even have like a completely new approach and or not even want to um, deal with this situation again by winter. You're pulling your own card and the upright. Um, be careful, somebody here is trying to deceive you. I don't like that. Somebody that you um, have been um, kind to, helpful to, could be work, relationship, family. Again, we have Peace Lily again. Please look at Peace Lily. I don't know why that's coming out today so prominently. Um, if you're expecting some sort of change to happen within, it's not, it's not going to happen. At least not soon. Uh, I do believe this is something you want to fight for. You want to find some sort of balance. We do have temperance here, and there is the Ten of Cups. This person is your ideal person. This is something that you really do want to work with or, or move forward with. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what this deception is. Could be a Pisces. Or, or could have left you hanging. Um, there is no communication between the two of you right now, and if you're expecting a... Um, apology, I don't see you getting it. This could have been somebody you were married to. With the Hierophant here, I feel like this was a long-term commitment. Could have been somebody that you um, lived with even. Because we have a key here. You guys may have shared a space. Oh, shit. It's from a different deck. Whoops. Sorry. Got some of my cards and mixed up there. Three more cards for Cancer, please. I feel like I should probably clarify. I think you're gonna 
begrudgingly move on and realize that there was just no growth here, that, that there was just nothing to work with. I do want to clarify, however, the Seven of Swords. What is this betrayal that this person um, is putting Cancer through? What is this betrayal? You guys do have, um, ironically, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's kind of bizarre. It's, it's, these are like different steps in your life right now. Um, this, the betrayal actually isn't, I guess, isn't that bad. This person might have been, um, could have been an Aries. Uh, this person just might have been not focused enough um, on the situation. Definitely not taking it seriously. It's not the kind of betrayal that I anticipated. Once again, it could be a Pisces or somebody with some sort of psychic abilities. Um, they're still keeping an eye on you. I don't know. That doesn't seem like much of a betrayal. I feel like there should be something a little more to that. I'm sure there is. It's not coming out. They may have been involved in another situation as well with the Three of Cups. They may, or they're just going out a lot, um, ignoring you, perhaps. Hold on to your money, um, because I feel like, okay, you might be holding on to your money. You might be making investments or or, or stacking some way for something. Um, it's saying that's really good because um, you know that things are coming up that, that you're going to need to take care of financially. But not only is this smart, but it's also saying your money is going to get better. And actually, you have the one and the ten, which tells me that not only is your finances going to improve, but they're going to multiply soon um, in the coming months, like greatly, like greatly. Uh, I will tell you, though, it... Although your you know your finances and your abundance in life looks really really good, I do see you looking back at somebody that you um, you miss uh, during this period of time. Well, where everything else starts to improve, I still feel like you're going to um, still be kind of focused on a past situation with a relationship that um, did not pan out the way you wanted it to. Again, this could be a, a ex spouse. Um, somebody you lived with or just somebody that you had future plans with. And I hope that helps.